everybody, this is Adam with the Productivity Academy. Today we're going to be going over Todoist. This is a great productivity app that, uh, as you can probably guess by the name, um, at least started as a to-do list type of app. So just to get the basics out of the way, it's available on all major platforms, um, you know, uh, Windows, Mac, uh, Android, iOS. I'm not sure about Linux. I, I'm not sure that it is. I know Nosby is. Um, I'll actually have to look that up and find out. Anyways. So this is their page talking about the premium, um, which you can get for a whole year for 29 bucks. I do that, but their free app is, is pretty solid too. There's there's a few things you're gonna miss out on, but you can definitely check it out. Um, so let's see, so here it says, you know, all the platforms it's available on. Um, so this is a good quick overview. If you go to their kind of sales page, you can see what it's got. You can add notes and file attachments. You can get mobile and email reminders. Uh, location alerts, that's an interesting one. So you could set an alert and I'll, I'll show you how to do this for, um, let's say you go to a certain street address or you know a store or something like that, then you get a, an alert. So you know when you are in the vicinity of you know uh, your grocery store, pick up these things, that type of a thing. Um, you get automatic backups, you can check that out. Labeling and filtering, um, you can uh, access your tasks via iCalendar. Uh, productivity tracking, haven't done too much with this, but you can see completed tasks and that, that's an upside. Um, obviously being able to search through is important. Um, you can add emails as tasks, like if you do things like star a message in Gmail, you can have it added, that's pretty handy. Um, then you've got templates and sync. Uh, it's very quick to sync, I haven't had any issues with that. Alright, so let's take a look on at the inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like uh, for the web app, and the mobile apps are not significantly different. Um, this is just going to give you a good overview of what it looks like. So you've got your inbox, and that's what we're in right now. You also have today. If you want to click on that, you can see what is happening today, or what you have scheduled for today, and then the next seven days. And those are your uh, three main boxes. And these are stock uh, projects personal, shopping, work, errands, movies to watch. And then you can add projects and move these around or delete them as needed. And then you have your labels, which are premium only feature, and filters, okay? So we can see what priority you labeled them, all that type of stuff. So on my personal um, account, I have a premium account. I signed up for this uh, with Productivity Academy so that I could show you what a basic account looks like and, and still how powerful it is. So let's add a task. We're going to create a Todoist video, right? And right now, it, today is August 1st, uh, or sorry, October 1st, and it pops up with today's date. And in general, it will pop up with the date you last put in there. Um, barring that, it will show today's date. From there, you can click on it and get a drop down here to um, show different dates, cycle through. You can assign it today, tomorrow, next week in a month or no due date and then you can set recurring dates so if you want to have something every week or every month um, something else you can do there's a lot of shortcuts here for using different um, date and time systems so for example you could say every day at 9 a.m. and that's a valid um, instruction for a recurring event but instead we're just gonna pick a date here for an example today Okay, you can pick where you want it to go. By default, inbox, but you again have all the projects that you have listed. And then you can set reminders. All right, that's a premium feature, but that's pretty self explanatory. Um, and then you can use your priority. All right. So just click add task. There we go. Okay, so we're going to add one more so I can show something here. Create second video. Add task. Okay, so we can move these around. All right. You can alter when they're due. You can make edits to them, change the dates. And then if we do that, we can see that that other video went to the next day because I changed it. And this gives you the basic layout. So again, this is kind of handy. Let's say you're going to be going shopping. And you're going to, you know, you need to get a, um, a, let's say a birthday present. So by birthday present for Bob. Okay, and we want to do that this weekend when we have some time. So we set a reminder for October 3rd, which would be the weekend, but let's say Saturday at 3 p.m. when we're going to have some time. All right, and you click Add Task Now, it's going to be set at 3 p.m. All right, so pretty easy to use. 
And then again, now that we have several tests, you can go back here to your inbox and see what that looks like. You then can go through your projects and have it filtered, or you can look at the next seven days and you can see, oh, okay, well, even though it's not in my inbox per se, I need on Saturday to be doing this. So this is a good place to review for those of you uh, who use something like um, you know, getting things done. You do a quick review on a daily or maybe weekly or more basis, then this is a good way to see, okay, this is everything I've got coming up for the week. This is what I need to be aware of. There's also notification features, um, which you can play around with. It's just in your settings, and you can do to do a settings, and I'll let you take a look at that, but it's pretty handy. You can get push notifications, SMS notifications, uh, email notifications. So if you set a time for something, you can get an email reminder, for example, which is really handy. Um, so that's about it for a quick overview. So again, the easiest way is to get started. So if you're interested in Todoist, I highly suggest you pick it up either in the app, one of the app stores or just sign up um, for the, via the web for the web app and then maybe try it on your phone. Um, it's really handy, very easy to use. Um, there's a, some detailed stuff we'll be covering later, but to get up and running, you know, it only takes you about five minutes.